All right, Elena, thank you. Today, law enforcement set to hold a press conference following the arrests, two arrests, and the death of a six-year-old in a high-profile road rage case. We told you about this. Six-year-old Aiden Leo's on his way to school in his mom's car when he was shot and killed by someone in another car. The reward in the case climbed to half a million dollars. Here's ABC's Andrew Dimbert. Overnight, police in California announcing two arrests in the deadly road rage shooting of six-year-old Aiden Leo's. It's very sad because two young people ruined one family and ruining their own families. Authorities say a man and woman in their 20s, Marcus Anthony Ares and Wynn Lee, were taken into custody at their home in nearby Costa Mesa. He was beautiful and he was kind and he was precious. And you killed him. Last month, Joanna Clunan was taking her son Aiden to kindergarten in Orange, California, when she says a car attempted to cut her off. A single shot was fired, piercing the trunk, striking Aiden in his car seat. The reward in the case ballooned to $500,000. The community just started pouring funds into the reward and pouring in tips and information about the, the suspects. Officials have not said if anyone will get the reward money. According to investigators, the arrests stem from tips they received after releasing this image of a white Volkswagen wanted in the shooting. Authorities say they believe Wynn was driving and her boyfriend, Anthony, fired the gun from the passenger seat. The arrests come legacy. one day after to Aiden's sure funeral, where his sister forgotten. gave a powerful eulogy. I don't get to play Mario Kart with my little brother or take him to the park ever again. And that breaks my heart. Because of the monsters that took Aiden's life, I will never get to hug my brother again. Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, New York. And according to our ABC affiliate in Los Angeles, Aiden Leos will be buried today in a private ceremony. The CHP says Ares and Lee are expected to be charged with murder. They're both being held on $1 million bail.